Hey there everyone and this is a clickbait video. The title says it so, the thumbnail says it so and still you are inside this video. In this video I'll try to explain what is this clickbaiting and why people actually do that. Also we'll try to judge some people based on is clickbaiting good or not. Let's get started. Clickbaiting is simply an element of surprise. You just try to put something in the title or in the thumbnail or in the blog post title or in the news article which is completely maybe contradictory or simply an eye-catching thing. And based on that, people try to read that newspaper, try to watch that media article, maybe image, maybe a video and based on that. And you all know that. Most of the people hate clickbaiting because it's simply deceiving. People don't like it. It says something and inside there is something else. And this is not a new thing. Now, in fact, YouTube is fairly a new platform compared to the blogging world. If you are a blogger or already are aware of the situation, this happens quite a lot in blogging. And the way that you see on the YouTube is like the teeny tiny one. It happens massively in the media channels. It happens massively on the blog articles. Just if you're a blog reader, you might already be aware of the situation that blogs always look forward to put a catchy headline in their uh, title or something which is more catchier, just like that. And this is the only way to grab the attention of user and they do it. Especially uh, if you're living, living in India, you might be thinking, hey, all these media channels do clickbaiting and they do it quite a lot. Trust me, my dear friends, this is not just only India. It happens all over the globe in United States, in United Kingdom, in Australia, New Zealand, everywhere it, it is happening clickbaiting because somehow they need to grab the attention of user and this is the easiest way. Everybody does that. Now, this doesn't mean I'm backing up that everybody should be doing a clickbaiting thing. But still, there are a few things that you need to understand that why people do clickbaiting. Now, the entire world of internet or clickbaiting or whatever you call that, YouTube, everything just drills down these two things. One is user acquisition and probability. And these are the whole soul which runs the entire internet, every possible website and every single thing. Just to give you a quick idea, just remember the news way in the day back when WhatsApp was sold and Facebook bought it. Do you really think Facebook was looking forward to buy a company which offers a chat? That's it? Facebook don't have these skilled engineers who can make another WhatsApp? Surely they have. But trust me, my dear friend, you are the most valuable property on the internet. And you didn't even realize that, but your you were sold to Facebook. You didn't even realize. It was not the WhatsApp on which Facebook was after. It was about the millions and millions of user data. Remember user acquisition? It was millions of users on which the Facebook was after. Because now Facebook has bigger data, bigger reach to the people. And this is all about user acquisition. So where does it come and drills down to the YouTube? Now, whether it's a YouTube algorithm or a search algorithm, the more people are seeing a content, that brings boils down it to the more valuable content. You might be thinking that a song is crappy. You might think that this content is completely crappy, but it's not. Simply because you have given it a dislike or a thumbs up, it might have a 5,000 dislike, just one thumbs up. But still, since more people have watched those, that content, that content is far more valuable in terms of algorithm as compared to the awesome content which is only being watched by four people. So end of the day, everything drills down to this guy. User acquisition, the people who were able to grab more people, this is all the winner here. So a song might be crappy, a content might be crappy, but if more people are watching it, drills down to the more acquisition. Okay, so now do you understand that what is user acquisition and that is why everybody is after the user acquisition. The more content you're gonna put, the more user acquisition you're gonna make. But what does it has to do with this probability thing? Then here comes you, interestingly. Now you are since the most valuable assets, every single decision that you make is based on probability, whether you think that like way or not. The entire shopping experience that you do on Amazon or Flipkart or any other given website on this entire planet, it's all based on probability. The more you'll see the product, the more you'll see uh, many times on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, the chances are high that you'll be buying more product. And this is it. The product that you are purchasing, the service you are purchasing, this whole runs the entire economy in the world. And this probability of seeing a product can be increased quite a lot 
when you have got more user acquisition and this is why when you visit a website like amazon.com you search for that product the same product is being displayed to you on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. You see suddenly that there is a change in how the ads are being displayed to you. This is all because they want to increase the probability. They want you to see their product again and again. And this gives them more chance to sell their product. And this is not about a special kind of product. It can be a laptop, it can be an iPad, it can be a service like hosting website or maybe just a regular soda. It all depends on user acquisition, probability and you are a chain of that. Now some YouTubers and blog article writers do this uh, clickbaiting quite a lot because end of the day some of them Yes, this is actual fact. Only some of them understand that this will generate more views, this will generate more user acquisition. Most of the people are not even aware what they are doing. They just think that this is fun and we're gonna get more views and that's it. End of the day, yes, there is a certain part which is like beneficial for the YouTuber or content writer, but end of the day, the big game, the big guys, the big guns who are the advertisers who are selling some product, are the ones who are behind this kind of uh, entire clickbaiting thing who are getting benefited from that. Not you, my dear friend, who are doing a simple clickbaiting on YouTube or on a blog or article. Again, the question drills around, is clickbaiting good or not? Now, it is a very subjective matter. Every person has a different opinion on that. Now, if somebody is a YouTuber or blog writer, he's gonna say that it's okay. Uh, I have explained the rest of the things inside the content, uh, maybe it's a video content or blog article. Some people will say that at least user was able to get attention to my article or my video and that's why I was able to explain him the further situation. Some people think that that's okay. Some people take an aggressive step that says no it is not okay if you want to present a news just present a news like that I don't want to see that a uh, flashy limelights of clickbaitings but again it's a subjective matter some people say that hey even if it was a clickbait I was able to get that news I was being entertained in that manner so again there are two groups of people I'm not saying any one of them is wrong or this one is wrong it's all depends subjective really subjective some people are X some people are Y both are necessary element of the society. Clickbaiting is the thing how media delivers the news and this way of styling of delivering the things using clickbaiting was I would give the full credit to the media guys, the newspaper ones. They have started this thing. Before that there was no such TVs and things. They were totally dependent on such kind of clickbaiting news so that their newspaper can sell, their magazines can sell and eventually the same a plot of clickbaiting was utilized by media channels and thereafter the blog writers and finally the YouTubers. Surely it's going to continue. Whether you like it or not, it's going to continue. It is not in the hands of me or you. It is going to just work like that. So that's it for this video. And again, I'm really sorry if I clickbaited you, but I said it in the title as well as in the thumbnail. So that's it for this video. I'll surely catch you up in the next video and cheers.